So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to my mega iPhone collection part four. Now, if you haven't seen the other three series, I'll leave them linked down below, but some of these things have changed and I've decided to keep out clone iPhones and keep out broken iPhones in this video. Another thing is if you've never seen this video, these types of videos, I just wanna let you know that these phones that you see here are not giveaway phones, so don't ask. At 300,000 subscribers, I will be giving away iPhone so stay tuned for that that's a guarantee now these phones here also I don't make this video to show off I could you know that's just not something I'm trying to do here what I'm trying to do is go ahead and be transparent with you I want you the viewer because a lot of you I know do like Apple to know all the phones that I do have on hand so if I'm missing a video um, I'm not doing an iOS update you're looking for I'm not doing a comparison or should you buy something that you need related to Apple this serves as a feedback video so you can say hey Nick I see that you have the 5s or I see that you have the 6s or the 6s plus or even the iPhone 1 and I need to see something about that video that's why I create this video right here and I will give another update after this probably in 2019 okay so let's get started here with the collection of phones so beginning with the first generation iPhone. So first on hand is this device and it does power on still. It's running a very old version of iOS, maybe like iOS two or three, somewhere in there. Let's go ahead and look at settings and take a look. Guess before I go in here, see if you can get it before I show you. So let's go into general and let's go to about and you can see it's running iOS 3.1.3. So if you were correct, if you said iOS three here for the iPhone one. So I have this one on deck. That one I found on eBay for about 30 bucks. If you find these new, they're actually thousands of dollars for that guy because it's a vintage classic item. Now here is the iPhone 3GS. I actually don't have the 3G, uh, the one before this. And you can see that I don't have no power in this one, but this is on board. This had the infamous cracking issue at the bottom of the plastic back and there hasn't been many plastic iPhones since then. I don't have the 5C yet. I should probably get that one in here soon. And I don't have the 4, but I do have the iPhone 4S. So the iPhone 4S, really classic. I remember Steve Jobs announcing the 4 series on, you know, on stage. It was one of the best, you know, announcements ever because this phone just really was a sturdy looking design and really classy for the time. Not a lot of phones really looked this good at that time. So the iPhone 4S is a really beautiful device while the 4 series in general, just a beautiful piece of kit. And uh, I think the 4S came out after the passing of Steve Jobs. Let's go ahead and get on down to the iPhone 5. So I have an iPhone 5, I'm sure you've seen this, and I've actually used all of these phones in videos in the past, so you're probably not surprised at seeing some of these if you've been watching this channel for a very long time. You have, would have seen all of these in videos already. This is that one that I have that's all you know scuffed up and stuff. I really don't recommend an iPhone 5 anymore. Very old, very slow device, but still the first four inch iPhone that was really a hot seller for its time. And uh, still, you know, a lot of people are probably still rocking this in some places, but you know, it's, it's, it's days are over with the iPhone 5, but it did bring us that four inch display. Before the touch ID, we had the home button. So no touch ID there. Then, you know, some of the most popular phones on this channel, the iPhone 5S, I actually have two of these. The space gray iPhone and the gold iPhone 64 gig here, 16 gigabyte version here. Both of these do power on. I got iOS 12 running on this one and it's pretty crazy to see that you're still gonna get iOS 12 on iOS 11 here on the iPhone 5S. We're really looking for some speed improvements on these guys later this year. So stay tuned if you wanna see if the 5S actually does get you know, much faster in the later betas. I've already done a comparison, but we're not seeing huge updates here so far. 5S introduced that, you know, Touch ID scanner to the iPhone series, really nice stuff, had a great camera for its time, cleaned up that those nicks that the iPhone 5 were getting, really hot seller in the iPhone 5S. 
I'm going to go ahead and skip down to the iPhone 6. I have two of these. You guys know that I cracked my gold one. And, you know, I made a video, don't buy the iPhone 6. And a lot of people said I'm only making that because it's cracked. No, that's not why I made that video. I made that video because I think the iPhone 6 is just too slow to keep up with the demands of 2018 when you, you have so many options in this price range. You know, if you're going to buy one right now is what I'm saying, not not like if you already have one, but if you're going to buy a new phone, there's phones in this price category that are just a little bit better. So iPhone six here, we do have the hottest selling iPhone of all time, 4.7 inch display, and it brings that, you know, that design that could bend, you know, on the six plus series, but very light, very classy, clean, and it was a really a leap forward for the iPhone series. You do have the headphone jack still on board. And I think they were beautiful devices for the time and really groundbreaking for Apple. Um, you know, a lot of people say, well, bezels, are you serious? But at the same time, Apple sold hundreds of millions of these things. So iPhone 6 are just, just killer phones in terms of, you know, the success they brought to Apple. The iPhone 6S is up next. So the iPhone 6S cleaned up most of the problems that the iPhone 6 had when it comes to its build quality. And it gave you a better camera and a much better speed with the Apple A9, a leaps and bounds in the processor department for the 6S. And people using the 6S today will still attest to how great this phone has been for them. And you know, it's really good. And now that you can get a uh, battery replacement, the iPhone 6S remains a strong option in the marketplace. Actually, I think it was in India, they're bringing this phone back. I might be wrong on, this, on the country there, but one of the countries they're bringing this phone back at a low price point because it's it's still a really good device here on the iPhone 6s. So 3D Touch was announced here as well. And really, I think the story with the iPhone 6s was the bump in RAM, the better processor, speed, and the build quality. So really nice refinements to the iPhone 6, and I enjoyed the 6s much more than the iPhone 6. Then in these small iPhones, we got the iPhone 7. So I got the matte black one. Now, if you watched my prior series on this device, you would have noticed I had the rose gold edition. I swapped that out for the black one. No longer keep that one. No sense of keeping two on board at the time. And you could see iPhone 7 brought the capacitive home button. iPhone 7 brought, you know, a beautiful cleaned up, no antenna lines on the rear, multiple colors. The camera wasn't that much better than the 6 s but the a10 fusion chip quad core you know that was not a that was a dual core in the iphone 6s so really nice stuff here 4k camera and a little bit cleaned up calibration when it comes to that display so still lcd but it still just looked better because of the way they calibrated the colors on this display so the iphone 7 a really hot phone it's one of the best sellers currently right now because of its drop in the price point a lot of people are still buying the iPhone 7. I made a video about this just a couple of days ago. Actually, I think it was the prior video. iPhone 7, great device. You could still pick up now. That is in the collection as well. And lastly, on these small iPhones, we're going to hop over to the iPhone 8. This is the glass, you know, gray version. They're all glass, actually, but you can get this in multiple colors. You can get it in red, silver, gold, and the space gray. But the space gray is, you notice how every uh, black iPhone kind of looks a little different. They don't, none of them look the same. That's one thing I notice about all Apple products. They don't keep their, you know, black color or their space gray color all the same, but the silver ones pretty much all do look the same. So the iPhone 8 brings huge processor improvements to the A11 Bionic MacBook level Geekbench. Super great performance. Still a 4.7 inch display, but it gives you true tone. It gives you, you know, wireless charging and better battery life than any of the small iPhones before it. So it's the ultimate refinement. It took four years or four generations to get to this one well you could say three this will be the fourth to get to this stage and this this iphone also made a lot of people upset because apple you know didn't change the design but that's what the iphone 10 was for but people who like a standard 16 by 9 aspect ratio display really are gonna love the iphone 8 and this was actually the best-selling iphone in the prior quarter i believe it was and then the galaxy s9 plus was right behind it so iphone 8 still definitely a huge player in the smartphone market so let's move on to the plus so we got to go back to the iphone 6 here i do have the iphone 6 plus i actually just added this one to the collection here and never had the 6s plus or the 6 plus excuse me before this one has the apple a8 one gig of ram just like the iphone 6 this is the one that infamously bend it on we all know what channel uh this is that phone right here and if you actually bend it you know it, it really can you can still see the flex a little bit 
But I don't recommend trying to bend this phone because it definitely will if you put enough pressure on the iPhone 6. And this really pushed a lot of other manufacturers to really test the bendability and like the durability of the bodies of these phones. And I think that this was a crucial phone to improve the quality of the Plus series in the iPhone 6 Plus, but it had an eight megapixel camera, 5.5 inch retina display. And it was actually close to $1,000 when it first came out for the highest capacity version. So a lot of people don't remember that, but the iPhone 6 Plus was up there near the $1,000 price if you got the 128, the, the highest capacity version of this phone. But a lot of people picked this one up as well, and some people are probably still rocking this or still thinking about buying this phone. I got a video coming up soon on should you buy the iPhone 6 Plus, but pretty good big smartphone for its time. Okay, moving on to the 6S Plus. The iPhone 6S Plus does give you basically everything I said about the 6S in a bigger package, so I'm not gonna go on too much about the 6S. It did bring a rose gold edition, the 6S, but the 6S Plus was a very you know crucial update to the 6 Plus because now you had that sturdy 7000 series aluminum that wouldn't bend at all. You I mean, you could squeeze this as hard as you want. This was a durable device in the iPhone 6S Plus. So really beefy, heavy, well not heavy, but really beefy, strong, sturdy, fast, great camera smartphone, and I'm sure millions are still using the 6S Plus to this day. I think I skipped over the iPhone SE. So we have the iPhone SE over here. We all know the iPhone SE here, two you know, iPhone 6S and small bodies here for this device. And this is a 16 gig on this one and a 32 gig here, rose gold and black. I got two of them to do side-by-side -side comparisons between different iOS versions. A lot of you requested that, so that's why there's two of them here. We all know it's just a 6S in a small body and that just seems to work. A lot of people looking for an upgrade here on this one, but we haven't seen it yet. And I thought they were really gonna bring it, but they all disappointed us on uh, WWDC didn't they? Next up, we're going to go back to the pluses, the iPhone 7 Plus, and let's just bring the 8 Plus here to speed things up a little bit. The 7 Plus was a fantastic phone. I really loved it because it just was like the refinement version of the iPhone 6S Plus, and it had the capacitive home button, great cameras on the rear, the beautiful jet black color. You had the matte black color as well. Red came in this phone, multiple color options, very light just a speed demon of a phone. And then the 8 Plus came along. I'm like, how can they improve the iPhone you know, 7 Plus? So it was more not a big update to the iPhone 8 Plus. I thought they were super similar. Just the 8 Plus brought, you know, it brought the wireless charging. It brought the A11 Bionic, which will make it last longer into the future. And uh, it actually significantly improved the battery life. So the 8 Plus is definitely the best of all the Plus series, obviously. And uh, But I don't think if you had a 7 Plus, it was really worth to update to the 8 Plus. The only reason I brought it is because, well, we're doing reviews on this channel, so we have to review the iPhone 8 Plus. Let's save what some can argue the best for last, the Apple iPhone 10, the future of iPhone. Now, if you've been watching this entire video, you probably noticed, take a look at all these iPhones, take a look at the 10. It's so much different, and it is definitely the future of the iPhone. I think we're gonna see a similar trend that we've seen with all these other iPhones, how Apple's gonna keep this design for several years, introduce us another design, and just ride that one out for another few years as well. I mean, Apple is genius at this whole business thing. They know what they're doing. Keep a design, throw a little more features in there, keep that cash cow coming. We know how it goes. But the iPhone 10, really a great super AMOLED display sourced by Samsung. That's why it has such a great display. And then on the rear, we have the you know dual cameras here, great cameras, and the wireless charging, stainless steel. Uh, I think they had stainless steel on one of the older iPhones. Just a really fast device, and you know a lot of people don't like the notch, but there's a lot going on for the iPhone 10. It's definitely the future of Apple here. Do you have an iPhone 10? Let me know down below. That's it, that's my mega iPhone collection part four. If you have any video suggestions on any of these, that's the point of this video, go ahead and drop it down below. We're going into the summer, we got another month or two until the iPhones come out and then we got a lot of content coming. So if I missed anything, now's the time to get your feedback in. If you enjoyed this video or found it entertaining, do me a favor, click that like button for me. And if you wanna see this series continue in the future, like as we file more iPhones in, let me know in the comments and uh, have a great day. Be sure to be well and peace.